The islands of Portugal have been so highly recommended to me as I've been searching for my next home and I knew nothing about this place except for the fact that it would be green and I completely forgot how good it felt to be surrounded by lush foliage and fresh water and just truly to be enveloped in nature. I've definitely had some rainy days here which immediately got me into this fall mood of just wanting to cook and bake at home so I've been eating a lot of really nourishing hearty meals and root vegetables, a lot of soups. I haven't experienced the seasons very consistently the past three years since I've been living somewhere tropical and the moment that it gets cold now I'm just so ready to get cozy and hunker down and fill the house with some yummy sweet warm things. I really appreciate the way that the seasons kind of force you to surrender to them and go inward and genuinely just cocoon yourself. I've been doing a lot of that as I wrap up a big project for the end of this year. It's been the perfect excuse for me to just nap and be slow and not feel bad about being on my computer so much when it's been so rainy outside, but it makes the sun even more welcomed and I've just been resorting to the simplest forms of self-care. Every morning I've been making fresh mint tea with ginger and lemongrass from the garden. It really helps to prime my stomach for digestion and I'm just kind of gearing up these rituals extra strong so that when I do make it back to the east coast I'm not struggling as much to do those good things that actually make me motivated to live life because I can definitely just get enveloped in this heavy energy. But the last ritual I've really been loving is doing rosemary hair rinses. I just boil water and then add rosemary and ginger and every day I'll just massage my scalp and pour this over. Good morning. I just woke up. I'm really excited about today because I'm going to a hot spring and I just really need to cleanse <laughs> my auric field, my skin. I've been breaking out a little bit and I've also been staying up really late working on this project releasing soon and my ex and I decided to spend a few days together here because he's helping me shoot and complete this project so that's been really emotional, also really beautiful. I'm so avoidant and I feel like like in a lot of my past breakups I just kind of completely parted ways with my exes and just never spoke to them or maintained a friendship with them but with Kaylee I just could not imagine doing that and we've fallen into a really good rhythm together of creating and just unconditionally loving each other trying not to rehash everything every day and just really accept the other person for entirely who they are and it's just been a lot of fun so i'm really grateful for that i feel like this is a beautiful gift from the universe for me to experience a just very conscious beautiful uncoupling and not feel like things have to be all or nothing and not run away from feelings or know that just because things didn't work out doesn't mean a relationship was a complete failure. I've just learned so much. It's a new experience. I've never had any deep moments of intimacy after a breakup or honesty or uncovering or like deep acts of love the way that I am now and I think that one of those acts of love is genuinely just inviting the other person to be exactly who they are and embracing it and I feel like breakups are so heavy and hard sometimes, but what they do is allow both people to return back to love in some way, in a truer way. I'm getting dressed for the day, really just playing dress up, and I wanted to let you know that today's video is sponsored by ThreadUp. They are my absolute favorite way to shop secondhand. They're so convenient because you can customize your searches and your sizes, and I feel like they're one of the few secondhand websites that are still really affordable, with a lot of their pieces being up to 80% off the estimated original retail price and they just have so many incredible brands and new ones that I'm discovering every single day so I'm gonna show you some of my favorite little fall picks right now this outfit is giving a little bit of indie sleaze kind of tumbler era but I'm still there in my mind and the main focus is this skirt this is actually a skirt. I've styled this so many ways already and this is just a key piece in my wardrobe to have 
A simple black skirt that I can wear with literally everything. Next, I found this gorgeous little 70s inspired dress. It's by the brand Princess Polly and was originally around $64. I got it on Thread Up for 31 and it's just really unique and cute. I've actually been wearing it all summer, but I think it'll transition perfectly in the fall. Found this really stunning free people's skirt on Thread Up and it goes perfectly with my favorite boots. I've been wearing this for a few seasons now and I love clothes that are versatile enough to wear all year round. It just makes sense and this one looks kind of classy too, so I'm really into it. And for the most realistic outfit, what I'm going to wear to New Yoga and emails around the house in. This is by the brand Out From Under. It was originally around $57, but I got it on thread up for $11, and it's just so fun to style with other things. And this is what I'll be wearing to leave the house today. This by the brand Free People. It was over $500, but I got it for 77% off, and I just adore it. If you like anything that I showed you or like my style, you can now shop my favorites on ThreadUp. So click the link in the description box to sift through some of my favorite pieces on there. Get 40% off of your first order and free shipping. It's kind of insane, but if you're looking to revamp your closet, that link will be the perfect place to start. So thank you for shopping secondhand, shopping more mindfully. There are already so many clothes on this planet, so let's just make use of them. back home and I'm making spring rolls right now. I sauteed some tofu with soy sauce and then some sauerkraut juice. Really random, but I couldn't find any good sauces. So I'm just working with what I have. I did find these rice papers. I haven't made these in so long. I love adding sauerkraut and fermented things to as many meals as possible. My gut literally craves it. The sourness of it all, it's so good. And I wanna make my own sauerkraut. I wanna do that. I wanna do all the home activities. I want my sewing machine back. I miss my typewriter. I'm genuinely like homesick for a home that I don't actually have. Um, but I just miss my nice things. And traveling is expensive for the reason that like, you need to buy things that you don't expect. Like when I went hiking in Switzerland, I got some new gear to do those hikes, um, which I don't think would have been reasonable for me to travel with the whole time. And then I sent those things back home. Um, just throughout travels, I have had to purchase things that I have in storage, but I didn't bring with me because then it would be like insane amounts of money to check extra bags every time. And it's gonna feel so nice whenever I settle down and just have all of my favorite activities at my disposal. I'm really missing that and I'm not any more clear on where I'm going to live because I was looking into Spain, but I think it's hard to get dual citizenship there. Pretty much if you wanna become a Spanish citizen, you need to fully expatriate. And I don't know if I can commit to that. I think it'd be really weird to be visiting my family in the US and have like a time limit for that. All of my friends are in the US, so I'm figuring it out. Portugal offers dual citizenship, but I don't feel as in love with it enough to move here as I thought that I would. Granted, I've only been on this island. I am going to, I have no idea. I have no idea. Looking at real estate literally all over and now I'm just back to looking at real estate in the US because it'd be easier for my family. I do want to help both of my parents retire and I feel like they're going to end up living with me so I want it to be easy for them. I just love cozy moments like this. I just love cooking for myself. I love 
filling up the fridge. I love having a pantry full of food and you can only have those things when you're at home, not when you're traveling full time. I'm gonna just start eating these and then get to some editing. this morning it's about a four hour hike past some waterfalls really pretty forests and maybe a swimming hole or two so this is just the stuff of my dreams and it's my last day here in the Azores so it's just gonna be a good close to everything it's also an eclipse I had such vivid dreams last night where I was flying I was lucid dreaming and I was creating my dream while I was in it. I was like, okay, I'm in this dream space. Anything can happen. Let's fly here. Let's imagine this appears here. And I was moving things around with my mind. And this um, spirit in my dream told me that I need to speak my prayers out loud and fill everything that I own with the frequency of my prayers and dreams. And I woke up and I jotted some of that down this morning. And I'm just really excited. It's a new moon eclipse. New moons are the best time for manifestation. <laughs> Oh, there's a little house. Let's see if there's anything. Oh my God. What is it? There's a letter. <gasps> oh my gosh. Maybe we have to leave a letter. What does it say? It looks like a Wi-Fi password. May your footsteps leave imprints of love for others to walk in. Oh my God, did you just make that up? Yeah. It's pretty bad, but... That's so good. Okay. This island really reminded me of so many different places that I love, including Kauai and Washington. I love feeling moisture in the air. Humid places are just my favorite, and you can really tell how much it rains here by how green and happy all the plants are. It's so palpable that they're just getting well fed. I feel so grateful for the love that just keeps happening so effortlessly in my life, and I'm excited to see how things continue unfolding. <laughs> I just really, Every single day I'm surrendering even more to the unknown, but I will see you all very soon. Thank you for being here and joining me.